Hello everyone. This is a small video presentation about how to write SQL script in the SAP HANA system to create a stored procedure which will create a complex calculation on the fly to generate a report by pulling data from a table. So let me first introduce myself. My name is uh, Somnath Ray. As you can see at the top, I'm a SAP Certified Application Associate in SAP HANA 1.0 and I also have a CPA and a diploma in IFRS from SCCA UK. My email ID is cpahana at outlook.com. So in this slide, we are looking at the table definition. The table has four columns, department ID, which is an integer column, city and quarter are n varkar columns, and salary holds um, uh, salary holds uh, decimal uh, or uh, uh, dollar amounts. Uh, so basically, the commission percentages are based on department ID. So we have department ID one, uh, which has 20% of commission based on salary department id 2 has 30 percent of commission based on salary and department id 3 has 40 percent of commission based on salary and so we need a complex calculation which we can build by using a case expression in our stored procedure so let's move over to the hana system and here we are looking at uh, the data uh, preview uh, within the HANA system and so this is the table and it's given as DEPT TOT payroll and as we see the department ID is uh, presented with uh, uh, integers 1, 2, 3 so there are three departments 1, 2 and 3 the city there are three cities Seattle, Tacoma and Redmond there are f uh, four quarters Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and the salary is shown in the dollar amounts so let's build up uh, the procedure by going into the SQL uh, canvas or the interface so you are seeing the SQL interface over here and uh, so let me drag it a little bit down so that you can see it so for, so the first thing you see that the uh, SQL procedure or the stored procedure has already been created by me to save time on this uh, presentation so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drop this procedure and when I drop this procedure you will see that it's uh, it, it has disappeared completely from the procedure folder uh, so let's drop it completely so we'll select this and execute it and uh, let's see if it has disappeared so we'll refresh this schema and let's go into procedures yes so it has been removed uh, from the schema somnath so let me then run it to build it again and uh, so let's run this code and uh, let's refresh the schema once again uh, and uh, let's refresh it let's see if it is yeah so the department payroll com procedure has been successfully executed and we will see uh, that the information is also here so uh, so let me first explain to you how I created the procedure so we will start off with this uh, phrase or clause create procedure and then we give the schema name which is Somnath as you can see the schema name is Somnath and then I name the procedure department payroll com and so we are using two variables that is the department ID which I name var dep ID uh, which is an integer and quarter that is var quarter n var car so I use these two uh, variables to pull the information from the table uh, over here so and then I use the case expression so when department ID is 1 then salary is multiplied by 20 percent when department ID is 2 the salary is multiplied by 30 percent and when department ID is 3 the salary is multiplied by 40 percent to get the commission column and which is uh, presented as a column 
uh, with commission being the header and uh, the data is extracted from the depth dot uh, payroll uh, table over here and uh, so when you uh, present when you write the code uh, make sure that you use a colon in front of the variables so var dep id has a colon in front of it and quarter has a colon in front of it that is var uh, quarter so these are the two variables that we will use to uh, pull uh, the my information which we need so let's call this procedure now so let me write the code call and then we can drag and drop the procedure over here and then we have to write the code so let's say choose uh, like department 2 and then uh, for quarter let's say uh, like Q Q3 maybe uh, so let's put Q3 and there and then we are done and let's run this code to see uh, what we get as the result so let's hit execute and there we are we see that uh, uh, department ID 2 uh, the city is Tacoma uh, the quarter is Q3 uh, the salary is 550,000 and commission is 165,000 so it multiplied this 550,000 uh, by 30 percent uh, rate to get the commission and if we go into the table uh, we see that the department ID 2 and quarter 3 uh, department ID 2 and uh, quarter 3 let's look at it um, over here uh, department ID 2 and quarter 3 it's showing the salary is 550,000 and uh, so that is how it calculated uh, the commission so let's do another uh, another so you see that the commission is 165,000 and the salary is showing as 550,000 as I showed you in the uh, table uh, so let's do another test so let's pick uh, say quarter uh, say department ID uh, 1 and let's say Q2 and let's run this code again to have uh, to test it and you see so uh, department ID 1 I chose and quarter 2 which is showing a salary of 400 uh, 400,000 so uh, it was multiplied by the department ID percentage which is 20% uh, uh, so department ID 1 has 20% of commission associated with it and so it gave the result as uh, 80,000 so let's look at the department uh, tort uh, payroll table and uh, you see that uh, yeah here it is so department ID 1 and uh, uh, quarter 2 which shows the salary as 400,000 uh, 400, and uh, so so that was the result like you know it multiplied 400,000 uh, times 20% uh, and it gave the result as uh, 80,000 so that's all about it and uh, hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video and if you have any questions you can email me at cpahana at outlook.com and so thank you for watching and uh, see you soon thank you very much